Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. He bought the Holyfield Mansion. Damn. He bought a jet. Damn. Oh, no. Fourth annual car show. Damn. <laughs> I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent. And the other little dude asked him a question. Um, small talk. But ultimately, the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who, who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know. I thought loyalty. I thought... Uh, but you did shut the fuck up once the Canadian took the L. You got totally quiet. You did. So. Since these niggas count my pockets, I'm going to let them know my next move. My next move finna be Thriller in Manila 3. Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield 3. Once Tyson knock out Jake Paul, I'm going to get Tyson and Holyfield to fight. In my front yard, I'm going to put a ring right there. And it's going to go down in my front yard. I want the judges to be Snoop Dogg, Kevin Hart, academics. You hear me? The ring going to be right there at the promised land. Thriller in Manila, the biggest. Wow, man. Hey, man, check it, man. Listen, man, every weekend, every day, every other day, Rick Ross, uh, it's something pops up between him and 50. Right now, uh, Rick Ross decides to speak out on 50. Uh, basically, some interview he did with Gilly and Wallow, and he just felt like he should have been asked a question on how he became disloyal to Dr. Dre when Dr. Dre put him on. Meaning Dr. Dre put Eminem on, which Eminem put 50 on, and this is how that went. So he feel like, you know, instead of him going at the Canadian, I mean, instead of him, you know, kicking it with the Canadians, and he should have just jumped over with Dre because that's who his loyalty should have stood with. I don't know what you guys think. When it comes down to loyalty, man, is this a real deal, man? He's, he's like I said, he's a promo king. He's still promoting stuff, you know, while he's doing this, Rick Ross is. And I don't know, do you really feel like, is this an issue with 50? Because they do this all the time. So he feels, I, I know 50. 50, once he's down, done with you, he's done with you. So that's just how 50 roll. But I just trip off the fact that how rick ross comes and just really just delivers this message after he said it was crickets after everything was said and done and then he comes back and he says okay they're gonna have he's gonna have a fight in front of his house with uh mike tyson and van der holeville field for number three so this is this is like i said i don't know if any of this is true i just know he clapped at him today he clapped at 50 because of the interview that he did with gilly and wallow and it's like hey and i'm just letting y'all know we're gonna be having a fight in front of my house as well all it's all seemed like he's figured the internet out and it's pretty much almost on a trolling level. But I got my girl, Reality TV. She can weigh in on what she thinks. Because she's watched me go back and forth on speaking on the fact of what's going on with my boy Rick Ross and my guy 50 Cent. Which I'm a big 50 fan. Big Rick Ross fan when it comes down to his music. Let's go. What you think about it, uh, Reality TV? You know, this, this, this really rich nigga... Um Rich nigga stuff. <laughs> oh yeah, they yeah yeah yeah. It's a, it's some promo going on. Yeah, Marketing at its finest, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and black people love controversy. You know, you know. I feel like it's just rich nigga stuff. I be loving it. I, I ain't oh, you enjoying it? I love when Fifty clap back on somebody. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> well, it, it's Rick Ross clapping back this time, but Fifty gonna say something. Fifty gonna say something. He's not gonna not say something. Listen to me. I don't care what nobody say. Fifty is the clapback king. Do you hear me? I don't care what nobody. So you think Fifty will say something back? Maybe, maybe not. 
it depends on if it's worth his money and time. Yeah, well, like I said, this game they're playing on the internet, now everybody has a sob story or something they're trying to do to create controversy or to create, uh, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. There are so many different ways people are coming. It's everybody. They're everywhere doing everything to try to keep... Everybody. Yeah, it, it is, it's, it's like, okay, because you know back in the days you had tabloids. Do you think this is more, this crazier than tabloids? Oh, baby, I think this is way worse. I think this is uh, the tabloids on steroids. Mm. Mm. Yeah, the internet took the, the tabloids up to a whole nother level. It's crazy. Like I said, I, I really, I, I love seeing 50 come back and say something. And then, as long as they keep it on wax, you know what I'm saying? As long as there don't be no blood spill. As long as they don't start talking about people, kids, and stuff like that. Well, it got ugly back in the days, as you already well know. Back in the day, you know, back in the day, they used to pull up to the, uh, to the concerts and everything, so. Yeah, it got ugly back in the day. Uh, 50 had, I think he flew his baby mama up. You remember before she, now she be on them that going crazy. He did. He did. He did interview her. Yeah, I think he, he might have had the son up there too. You just never know. 50, 50 don't fight fair. But, you know, do you agree that ain't no, it, it, it's it's all go mode when it's war? Anything goes, women, kids, everything? Or do you feel like that's a no no? I don't think people should bring people kids in because the kids and the, the women ain't, unless they try to get in me. Because, you know, Tia Kill, she going to come back and she gonna, she going to say something too now. I love her because her clout bag is going to be kind of, <laughs> they going to be good too now. So, I don't know. What? I guess they having fun with it. Like I said, this this rich people stuff. So, you know, they, they different than us regular people. Well, I don't have millions of dollars in my account. Well, So, I don't know what I might get on there and say and do. You might get on there and cut loose? I might have fun too, cause I know people. You know, I know people that's within the industry. They talk each other and be like, "We about to do this. We gonna pretend like we got beef with this and this." And this. I don't think Fifty and 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 and, and I don't think no, Fifty don't and think Rick Ross do that. They don't. They not. They not. They not. They not, they not hanging no, I out. Think theirs is real. Yeah, theirs is real. Which one's fishy yeah. to you? Well, don't bring it up. We'll talk about it on. A, that's another show, right? <laughs> That's that's another show. We can, cause baby, we can go there. No, I don't want you to. Don't out them just yet. We gonna out them the next time. You know what I'm saying? Like I okay, said, you. you, know, you I, I got the research, baby. You know I know everything. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so much for always sending me stuff that's going on. I enjoy every time I look at my messages, you done drop me something. But this this here thing just popped up, so I just wanted to speak on a little bit. Rick Ross and Fifty Cent. Do you guys feel like Rick Ross is uh, uh, wrong for saying something to Fifty? And Fifty hadn't really, I, I mean, spoken out since he was in Canada, but he did go over there and get on stage and do what he did. And why why did it take? Did, did Rick Ross wait too long to respond? Fund? Let me know in the comments. Is this marketing at its finest? Is this trolling? I see Rick Ross with a bag of chips up. He got his his uh, liquor out. You know he's promoting everything as he goes. Man, let us know. Get in the comments. Do you agree that? Um, it, let, let's t let's talk about it. Is this really is this really real? Uh, reality TV says there's a lot of people that's just making things up and, and trolling and, and, and acting as if it's beef when it's not. Let me know what you think about it. What's going on with the internet? Is it real? What's up? Boss Talk 101, Boss Talk 101 review is going down, man. What a boss is talking. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, a reason you see.